Last time on Fetch with Ruff Ruffman. Henry, hi! Ah, uh, yeah. Bit of a snag. <laughs> on the way to Studio G. I, uh, I lost the Fetchers. Don't worry, guys! We'll find a way to get you back! I promise! <laughs> Can you imagine if those Fetchers were still stranded on a deserted island? That would have been awful. <laughs> <laughs> they are still stranded! Oh, it's a disaster! Blossom, you still haven't made contact with them! Oh, and now the Henry hotline is ringing! Oh, why can't he ever just send an email? Oh, he did send one. Dear Ruff, rescue those fetchers or else love Henry. Oh, Blossom, what are we going to do? What? You have one more thing you can try? But if it doesn't work, they'll be trapped on the island forever! And it all comes down to pushing that one button! Okay, then. Press the button. Press the button already! I'm going crazy here! Life was missing its mystique. My squeaky toys had lost their squeak. And then, out of the blue, I saw the phone, and bam! My destiny was calling me! Pitched my vision for a show. They loved it! Thought I was a pro! They got my contract back to find. To their alarm, a dog had signed! Oh, I like that name. I didn't wait to renovate, found six contestants, all were great! And now I'm on the road to fame, I've got a game show and its name is... It's very catchy. It rolls off the tongue. Blossom, you think my insurance will cover this? Okay, Blossom, let's hope this works. Press the button. What's this? Where are we? Where are the fetchers? Hello? Is anyone there? Fetchers? Hey, can anyone hear me? It's me, Ruff. I'm on the TV and here. Welcome to Game Show Island. There's an island for game shows? Hey, look, there they are. Welcome to Game Show Island? Roby, Emmy, Mark, Jay, Marco, Shreya, over here. It's me, Ruff. Oh, boy, am I glad to see you guys. Wow, that would have been awful losing you on the first day. <laughs> why, why are we here? Yeah, why? Yeah, what are we doing here? Well, all I can say is never leave travel arrangements to a mouse and an insane Viking. <laughs> I give you my word as a game show host and a dog of integrity that I'm going to get you off this island. What do you mean, not yet? Every boat in town is booked for the big boat bash. Oh, oh no. Hello, Ruffy. Grandma! Hey, Grandma! What happened to Studio G? That place looks awful. You kids shouldn't be sitting on those filthy bricks. It would be nice if they had something clean to sit on, Ruffy. Yeah, Ruff. These are dirty. Jay. Yeah? There's some towels on the table behind you. Use those to clean up a little. Towel? Star paws. Tape recorder? What? A tape Look recorder? It's a tape recorder. Star paws? I used to have a tape recorder like that when I was a puppy. Wait a minute, that is my tape recorder. What? Why is it here? Why is it here? I look for that thing forever. Oh, dear. Ruffy, if this is what I think it is, they better play that tape. No, hi. I'm Wink. And this is Dinah. Tell him our last name, darling. Oh, yeah. Ruffman. Who? Huh? That's right, Ruff, dear. It's your parents. My what? It's Plus his parents. parents. Ruff? I think I'm gonna faint. As we record this, you're not just a dog, you're a brand new puppy. And if you're listening now, Ruff, it means you're all grown up and you've followed in our footsteps. I have? That's right, Ruff, dear. It means, like us, you've become a game show host. Ruff? I never knew your parents are game this show hosts. This is a little weird. I also did not know this. And it means you have contestants. And now they're here on Game Show Island. Whoa. How have I never heard of this island? So we are supposed to be here. Apparently. Now, Ruff, dear, your father and I have to go on a trip. Where are you going? I wish we could tell you where we're going, but we can't. One day we'll need you to find us. And to do that, you'll need the fabulous four. That's four fabulous game show host relics. A buzzer, a timer, a clapper, and a golden microphone. All right, let me get a pen. Hold on a second. You need these four relics. You won't find us. And you won't be a legendary game show host without them. But if you...
you can't get all four relics before the sun goes down, your contestants will be trapped on Game Show Island forever! Oh no! So, get started! In this room are lockers that contain everything you need. And be sure to follow the golden arrows. They'll show you where to go. Good luck, Ruff. We love you. <laughs> Hey, hey, we're, we're gonna help you. We're gonna do everything okay. we can. I have so many questions, Grandma. Later, dear. Let's get the fetches going. They only have until sundown, or else... Right, Grandma. Or else I won't become a legendary game show host. Fetchers, go fetch those relics. Okay. We have a lot of work to do. Let's go in. Pull up. What's inside? What is this stuff? Oh. Bow tie. A wig. Hat. What? A map! Wow, an island in the shape of a microphone! Is this like game show attire? I think I had it upside down. How do you put this on? I don't know about you, but I'm kind of liking these clothes. Wow! Yes, Is that what game show hosts are really supposed to wear? Okay. Chet, polyester me. And away. The tape said we need to follow the arrows. And be sure to follow the golden arrows. They'll show you where to go. And we're at the game show shack right now, so... Yeah. All right, let's go! Yeah, okay, let's do it! Yeah. Let's find the golden arrow! My six winged fetchers are on it! Yeah, oh, yeah. Right there, right there. Hey. No. hey, there's another one! There's another one! Yeah! All right! Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wait, I see sign! Go for gold! Oh, okay. I think this is a tape. Go for gold, another cassette tape! Okay. And we're back! Welcome to Go For Gold B! All right, contestants, mind the time and mind the moon. If you want to find that golden microphone, you may be able to see it, but you'll not be able to retrieve it without retrieving other relics first. Isn't that right, Dinah? Now follow those arrows and retrieve those relics. How are we going to get it? Wait, wait, there's a sign that specifically says no swimming. Look, there's a shark fin on that sign. He said that we need to find the other relics first. So... Hold on, what does he mean about the moon? That might mean something about the tide and what time it goes out. The, moon the moon's the gravity tide. Yeah. is what pulls it and makes a... the tides. Right. Huh. So whether the tide's high or low depends on where the moon is. And it looks like the tide is high right now. Let's, let's check the map. Okay, well, we're here at Go for Gold, guys. Okay. Ooh, if we follow the beach up here, we can get to the $21, 21 pyramid. pyramid. Yeah, let's let's go. go. Shouldn't we be discussing the sharks? Hey, wait a minute. There's two different arrows. Oh, no. Two different arrows? How can my game show hosts go in two different directions? We need to split up in the team. Bow ties and neck ties. Bow ties, let's go this way. Neck ties that way. All right. Go. Okay, so Marco, Ruby, and Shreya are the bow tie team. And Emmy, Jay, and Mark are the neck tie team. Boy, I tell you, my parents can come up with an awesome challenge. Come on, let's go, come on. Oh, I think it's over here. Okay, it's first up, the okay. neck tie team. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, this place is weird. So mysterious. What is that? Is it like some like underground game show lair or something? Sure, or why not? Underground game show lair. Yeah. I guess we just continue downward. Oh, well, they're rough. I know you're upset, but what are you doing to us? I'm not doing anything. I have no control over what's going on, Jay. Whoa. The, wait, the sands of Hold on, look. That's on the map. Look, look, ah, look. Sands, the sands of time. Of time. Oh, and, and another cassette. Tape. Here, put in the tape recorder. Yeah. This music is so catchy. Welcome to the Sands of Time. You will notice an hourglass timer on one end of a seesaw. On the other end, an empty bin. Find the hidden clocks and fill that bin before the time on the hourglass runs out. You must tie your legs together and hurry. The sand runs quickly. Okay, guys, you have your instructions. So we're trying to get the clocks in this bin on the seesaw before time runs out. this. Uh-oh. I think we better start. Okay. It's like a four-legged race! Oh, gosh. That sand is going really quick, guys. Hurry. Okay. You gotta find the clock. Come on, guys. Oh, okay. They found the first clock! Okay. okay. Hey, look, there's another clock over there. Hurry, guys, hurry! Being in the middle is not a good idea. Get this one. It's closer. Come on, guys, hurry. You're not the three no, stooges. Right we don't have much time, guys. Let's I go. Oh, <laughs> nice job. Hey, I okay. found some over there. Oh, you yeah. did? Okay, go get that one. In here, let's get the oh, Which one are we getting first? I got nice. it. Okay, let's get the pink one now. Got it. Hurry, guys, oh, hurry. Timer's oh, almost up. Oh, 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 put those clocks in that bin. Yes! Oh, they did it. 
with seconds to spare. Yeah, high fives all around. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's way, that's way. Okay, they've got the first of the four relics. Let's see how the other team is doing. Right there. $21 Pyramid? Wow, my parents' show is on a tight budget. Yeah. Welcome to the $21 Pyramid. Use your math skills to solve the mystery pyramid puzzle, where the solution is always 21. Each buzzer will say a number when you press it. There will be one extra buzzer when you're done. That's the relic you need to take with you. Okay. All right, let's do this, guys. Well, we need to solve all of these questions. Okay, the there's the pyramid. Let's solve the this right puzzle. Here. Okay, so the same number of letters as its value. Okay, Blossom, write this down. Oh, I get it. The number one, the word, has three letters. So yeah, like O N E four. F O U R. Yeah, four. Okay, the word four has four letters. F O U R. Nicely done, Ruby. Adding this number to itself is the same as multiplying this number by itself. Is two. Two. Because two plus two is four. Right. Two times two is four. four. Okay. Right. Thomas Jefferson Medal. Or Abraham Lincoln Paper. Thomas Jefferson is on the five dollar bill, I think. Abraham Lincoln's on the five. And Jefferson is on the nickel. So that'd be five. Five. Ha! It's five! So four, two, five, and then four, two, five. The number of planets that start with the same letter. Oh, okay. So, okay, so let's start. Mercury. Three. Okay, so Mercury, Mercury Mars, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. I think there's more M. Saturn. M. Because M because there's, there's two M's. Mercury so and Mars. Two. two. The only even prime number. Prime number is something that can't be divided any farther without going into decimals. Oh, it's a number that's divisible only by itself and one. Then I think it'd be two. Okay, okay. so it's two. Add this number to the other five, and you'll get. Okay, so two, four, five, nine, okay. Plus two, two is eleven. 11. Plus, plus four, four is, is fifteen. Plus six. 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 Plus plus six. six. That's right. The bow ties have figured out the pyramid. Now they need to find the leftover buzzer for the next relic. All right, let's look for the buzzer. Okay, over here. I remember seeing it. There's one. There's one way up there. Oh, okay, there's another one. We have seven buzzers. But there are six circles on the pyramid. Yeah, oh, right. well, the spare buzzer is the relic. Right, so let's see what's going on. So, whichever one isn't it? Okay. Six. Put this six is there. Our buzzer. Ah, so each buzzer says a number when you press it. The fetchers need to match the numbers on the buzzer with the answers Four. on the pyramid. This is five. Two. Uh, two, this is two. Yeah. Uh, so it goes here. Two. two. That goes here. So this is the letter the buzzer. buzzer. This is the, the relic. Buzzer. They've got two of the four relics. But it's getting later by the minute. There's not much time left before sundown. Let's see how the necktie team is doing. Let's go. There's the golden arrow. arrow. Okay, we must go in. Yeah. Let's go. Um, uh, wow. Big place. I would say split up, but I don't want to. No, yeah. let's stay together. This is a little scary in here. Oh, Wait a minute. No golden that? arrow. Besides, get the hang of it. Grab the tape. Okay. Another cassette. Right. Yeah. Welcome to Gay. Twenty feet above you is an envelope. Retrieve that envelope to get the next relic. Now go get the hang of it. Uh, not as clever as go fetch, but uh, not bad. Whoa, that's really high. Oh, rough. Check this out. I don't think we're gonna get this. Do we have a ladder? Well, there's some wood in the ground. We should try batting it like a pinata. Or we could build advice to either get it lower or to get us higher. Hey, we have higher. extra supplies. Okay, we have a bucket of supplies. Various tools. These are hacksaw blades. Wait a minute. We could take these and put them on the sticks, and you could cut the string that's holding the envelope. We could lower. It. We could oh, tie. Yeah, this we can use to get together and then lift it up and then move it side to side. There's actually bolts and there's holes in each of these pieces of wood. So what if we if we were to make a scissor design? I guess so. Like yeah. so, way of yeah. So it, it would go like that and then slice the string. Okay, let's try it. Jay, that's a great idea. They'll cut the relic down. What we can do is maybe attach these with a screw. Right. There's holes all over these boards, so we really need to worry about where the fulcrum is. If you think about it, it's kind of like a lever. Lever? Fulcrum? What's a fulcrum? Is that a bird? Oh, it's a pivot point. An example of a lever would be put, the tape put something like that or anything on that. 
and you're able to actually move it up easier than you would. Ah, look at that. It looks like a seesaw. The longer you make this part of the board, the less force you need to lift this part of the board. Right, right now this is the, the bucket is the fulcrum. And actually, the closer the fulcrum is to the weight, the easier it is to lift the weight. Okay, I get it. So you wanna try and apply this to our idea to try and get the envelope down? Yeah. Okay, so the closer you move the fulcrum to the weight, the easier it is to lift up the weight. Chet, lift me. Wow, whoa, easy, Chet. Let's try putting the screw in right in these holes here, because they're the closest ones to the end. Right. Aha! So to make scissors, you need two levers. That's the wood, and the screw is at the fulcrum. So if we try it... Right there is the world's largest pair of scissors. Now look at that! With two oh, levers working right. together, you can cut string, not just lift weight. So now let's apply the blades. Careful, careful guys, blades are sharp. Be very careful. Okay, Go. let's okay. try it out. All right. Okay, the scissors are ready for testing. A little wobbly, a little wobbly. Okay. So let's open it up. All right. There, there. Okay, now close it. Close it. There we go. They have it in its grasp. Now oh, cut. Wrong way. Yes, they did it. What an awesome design. Okay. Tape. Tape. Another okay, piece. wait. A box. It's like a piece of wood. What is that thing? Okay. Right. Let's listen to the tape. Congratulations. You have half a relic. Now you must find the other half. Good luck. Go. All right, let's go. Oh, so that's the clapper board, or at least a portion of it. Let's see how the other team is doing. An arrow. Go, go, go. The bow tie team has found another golden arrow. Sign. Go for it. That has led them to a sign that says "Go Fish." We should call my cousin Bluff Ruffman. He's a pro at Go Fish. Another tape. A tear. And welcome to Go Fish. If you notice beneath you, there's a well. In it is something you need. Fish out that thing. Girlfish! Let's check this out. Oh, the clapper. Wow, hmm. how are we gonna get that? We have a bunch of supplies here, so I'm guessing we need to build like a fishing rod sort of thing. A fish, fish it out. Right. Let's check out what we have. All right, well, we have metal rods. We have bamboo rods. We have string. I was thinking a really, really long metal rod, like we could connect these. And then at the end, a hook. And then we could just hook it through the ribbon. Yeah, maybe these pipes can fit together. This is what we hold, and then the rest is connected to it. So they may need to combine a couple of the poles to make it longer. All right, duct tape it there. There we go. Now the pole is super long. I, I have think... a feeling this might just like fall out. Wait, drop that end in. If we make that end longer, we can move it out and have that end go down and hook. You see what I mean? All right. It's bent completely down. I still think something's going to go wrong. I have a bad feeling about this. I mean, look. Like that. Ah, like the that. pole fell in! See, this isn't going to work. It's not going well, Ruff. Goodbye, other pipe. Don't worry. You'll think of something. I hope. What went wrong last time? The duct tape slipped. And, and I think it's too heavy. Maybe we should just use all bamboo. If you look at the bamboo, they've got holes for screws, and hooks. Oh, in the mid. let's think of a fishing pole, okay? A fishing pole has basically these eye hooks to run the string through it so that it stays straight, and then the bamboo could be our lever. If somebody we can could start design a hook, let's make it oh, sort here, of straight I, I... at the end. Ah, looks like they're making a big fish hook. They're gonna need a pretty big worm. Now we can just like tie a knot like that. Tie and, and duct tape. Just... If we feed it through the eye hooks and we have one person at the back who like is feeding more string, once the two people at the front say it's hooked, that person can, can pull. pull and then it'll get to the top here and we can just pull it off right. and we have the clapper. Perfect. Let's oh, do it. Yeah. Okay. All right, Ruby, I'm going to tell you when to lower the string. Let's okay. get it out as far as we can, Shreya. Okay. All right, Ruby, give us some more slack. Oh, it's, it's at the end. Give us oh, some more slack. A little more. You're supposed to use bait. Oh, okay. Um, Hold on. Move it up a little. Almost. Get it. We got it, we got okay. it. Got it! Bring it, it up! Pull it up. Pull it up. Oh, wait, the okay, pole's breaking. No, the pole's breaking. Grab it! Reel in the fish. Uh, Reel it in! Pull it in. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 They did it! My awesome God. job! Hey, guys, guys, okay. there's a tape. Okay. Another tape. Okay. Obviously a waterproof well. tape. Please. Hopefully it'll work. Congratulations! 
you have half a relic. Now you must find the other half. Good luck. Wait. I... What is this? Game, Game Show, Show Island, Island Tide, Tide Chart. Oh, there are Wait, the different no. times. <gasps> so we're going to need the part that claps. Right. Oh, that probably has something that corresponds so to So let's go find numbers. the other team, you guys. Let's go find the other team. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, it's getting close to sundown. My fetchers are going to be stuck on Game Show Island forever. Chet, I need to choose something. Thank you. Hey, you guys! Do you guys have the other half? Yeah, we do. Yeah, All right, let's put it together. together. Ready? Like that. And then, what's it mean? Maybe it kind of, this chart graphs like the tides of the ocean. Oh, and when it's really low, it's low tide, and when it's higher, it's high tide. Yeah. So the difference, that would be like 10 feet. And today, when we saw the golden microphone, it was at high tide. Right, so that like means clock. that it's low tide at 5.55. That's why we can get the golden microphone. Because then the, the water will be low enough so we right. can walk out to it. and get it. Then you won't have to worry about the sharks. Time is it. Guys, it's 5.50. Guys, guys, let's go. Okay, let's Watch go. Watch five go. minutes. Run, run. Get back down by the water. Is the tide low enough? Look at the sign. I see it. Go for oh. gold. There it is. Yes. Look, it's the They made it. Yes. Hey, a tape. All right. I got it. In the me. final tape. Play. What do my parents have to say? Congratulations! You now have the golden microphone. Tell them what they won, Dinah. Sure, Wink. No tide has revealed the land bridge. They won the right to walk off the island. Woo! They did it! They found all four relics! Now I'm one step closer to finding my parents! Let's follow the land bridge straight ahead. All right, let's go. Grab the mic. Let's go. See you back at Studio t -Rock. Bye, Rob. I hope you can figure out how to get there. All right, let's try this again. Blossom, Chet, they made it back to Studio G. The season five fetches are here. Nice play. This is a really cool Welcome to Studio G. Sorry, uh. I got you lost on Game Show Island, but you're here now, and you're safe, so let's get right to it. Okay. Okay, okay right. Rob. Fetchers, if you will look behind you, you will see four grand champions. There just may be someone from season five joining them on that wall. One of you! And you're off to an excellent start. You've got the fabulous four relics with you. Just, um, I don't know, go ahead and put them on that shelf over there. Okay, sounds yeah, good. Cool. Now, I don't know how or when or even why the Fabulous Four are supposed to be used, but if we need them, we'll be ready. Right, guys? We're right. prepared. Yeah. All right, let's get you guys some points, your first points. Yeah! yeah. Now, I gotta say, I did not come up with this challenge today, but you guys pulled it off like old Fetcher pros, and I'm proud of you. Marco, Shreya, Ruby. <laughs> Goodbye, other pipe. Your math skills and ingenuity nabbed that buzzer and a half of the legendary clapper board. And that's good for 40 points. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job, guys. Oh. And meanwhile, Jay, Mark, Emmy. Oh, oh, yeah. You earned a bunch of points for collecting all those clocks, even though you were tied together. Yeah. And for hanging in there to get the other half of the clapper board. There we go. 40 points. <laughs> That's not all. You deserve a lot more points because Henry definitely would have fired me if you hadn't gotten off the island by sundown. But it didn't happen, so I got 40 more points for everyone. Yeah. For a grand total of 80 points. Nice. You think that's all the points a dog can give? No. Here's the first one of the season. What time is it? Bonus points. That's right. Today's 10 bonus points go to the fetcher who not only came up with an ingenious scissors design, but also knew how to use the word fulcrum. There's holes all over these boards, so we really need to worry about where the fulcrum is. Jay, with 90 points, you're today's daily winner! Yeah. Thank you, Ray. Now, Jay, I have here two Star Paws tape recorders. Under one, a fabulous prize. Maybe a new dining room set, or a sailboat, who knows? Under the other Star Paws tape recorder, also a fabulous prize that, you know, isn't even close to being a sailboat. So, which will it be? I'm gonna have to go with B. Chet, go deliver the prize. Jay, I believe he is sticking it in the suitcase on the shelf. Okay, I see it. Okay. It's a fetch with Ruff Ruffman home game. Cool. Oh, cool. oh, that's right. It's the home version of Fetch with Ruff Ruffman. 
Now you can have hours of fun going on exciting, death-defying challenges from the comfort of your own home. Hey, what? look at we have our own game pieces. That's right, Blossom yeah. made it. I bet I look just like my piece. All right, Fetchers, congratulations. Yeah. And that's it. We will see you next time on Fetch with Ruff Ruffman. Bye. Bye. So, Grandma, how did you know so much about Game Show Island? I had a little game show myself once. We've got fabulous prizes today. Homemade oatmeal cookies. You'll love them. I had no idea. Only pulled in about 30 million viewers a week. But that's more than my show. Grandma, do you know where my parents are? Oh, that's we the Go Get It show. I never miss it. Bye, dear. Blossom, Chet, we are going to find my parents. Mark my words. This season of Fetch has just begun! Hey, wanna learn more about levers? Let's dig a little deeper! A lever is a simple machine that makes work easier. To make a lever, you need something firm, like a piece of wood, and you need a fulcrum to rest it on, which is where it pivots. You can use a lever to help you move something heavy. Put the object on one end and apply pressure to the other. The closer the object is to the fulcrum, the less force you'll need to move it. And if you want to dig even deeper, go to pbskidsgo.org. Okay, one last thing. Not only do I host my own television show, but I have a fantastic website, too. Check it out. It's more fun than turning round and round in circles before a nap. PBSKidsGo.org. Hey,